Okay, hello everyone and welcome back, Super Soka, and today we're playing Really Big Sky. I believe this is like a bullet hell shooter type of game. I'm not really sure, I've actually not seen any footage and I haven't tried it yet, so we're gonna see how we do. Uh, it was released by a studio named Big Baddie, it's a small independent studio. Uh, I think they're located in England, and I believe it's the team of two people, but I'm not totally sure on that. So they released this in 2012, and it was actually a part of the, uh, what is it, the Indie Royale bundle? Which I don't know if that's still a bundle that still exists. Uh, the resolution's a little bit weird. I try to mess the options. We're in some weird, like, 1280 by 720 resolution in full screen. I try to set it to full 1080p full screen, and it keeps glitching out and won't let me use the full screen. It gets, like, a quarter of the image is cut off. It's really bizarre. So we're going to see what we can do here. Uh, we control the game using the arrow keys or the WASD to move. We use the mouse cursor to aim. Uh, left mouse stops shooting, and right mouse does something else, which I don't recall what that is. We're going to find out. Uh, w oh, here we go. WASD. Default controls is flying. Space doesn't do anything. Shoot at the left. Right click, flip drill, vortex attack, and we aim with the mouse, I guess. And uh, collect star bits to upgrade your ship on death. Long pace. No perk power ups. This screen can be disabled via the option screen. Okay, let's press enter and escape pauses. Cool. Let's see how this goes. Alright, classic mode. M3 Darwin Puccini Zero. Welcome to Really Big Sky. There is a narrator going on, so I'm letting him do his thing. So basically, auto. Use the second analog stick to shoot. Firing is automatic with the mouse. Hold left mouse to deactivate. Okay, so basically, auto fire. We hold left mouse to stop shooting, which I don't know why we'd want to do that. Uh, we're gonna not worry about that. Okay. Right mouse flips the drill around. Use that drill of yours to smash through planets and meteors. Yeah, I'll summon a little planet just for you. Oh, I see. So we don't shoot if we flip the drill in the front, but it allows us to uh, break through stuff, apparently. Oh, cool. What happens if we hit that spider? Nothing happens? Cool. All right, I see. Okay. Okay, we're gonna fly through the hoops. Apparently, there's a hoop. Okay. Watch out for meteors. Watch out for meteors. You can drill through those if you're those two if you're too if you're quick about it. Got it. Got it. All right, let's set the drill up. Okay. Just remember, you can't shoot whilst drilling. Yep. Got it. Stop shooting for pressure buildup, then fire again to release that pressure in a devastating attack. Cool. Went ahead and held in my left mouse for a moment, but I didn't really see anything special happen from doing that. There's those cool little rod things. We're going to try and grab them when we can. I was too slow for that one. Uh, it does make it a little bit harder to see when we're firing. So, okay, I, I get the pattern. I'm just going up and down, up and down at the moment. I grab a few more of these. Oh, whoa, okay, okay. We're gonna try to kill this thing. Got it. And it looks like those little star bits are definitely things we want to try and pick up when we can. Uh, okay, what is that? Collide? We want to collide with that, apparently. I want to have my drill out. Okay, just in case I put my drill out. I don't know if that was necessary, but... Gave us a nice boost, it looks like. We're gonna grab some more of these star bits. This is kind of a... 
very cool graphics this game, but it seems like there's almost so much going on that I'm not totally clear. Where's my cursor? There it is. I'm like losing track of things already. I have a feeling I'm going to do really bad at this game. I tend to be pretty bad at bullet type of games. Uh, oh, we just got blown up by that thing that appeared above us. Yeah, okay. Another go? Sure, let's go again. Okay, I get what's going on. I get what's going on. Another go. Uh, backspace to play. Let's play. Okay, classic mode. Here we go. Okay, good. We don't have to go through the tutorial again. It seems like the range of our... Hmm. Ooh, almost, uh... Ship speed? I don't know what those things did, but gotta get them. Ooh, we got a big, uh... Big laser thing going here now. Ooh, almost took some damage from that. But it seems we're okay. What's strange, I can't seem to... Whoop, drill time. Laser shield looks good. We're gonna get some of these. Good, awesome. It seems like I can't aim behind my ship very well unless I move past the cursor. Whoa, whoa. There we go. We got it working now. Still figuring out the controls, but it, we at least didn't die from that big thing there. Planet incoming. Okay, we're gonna need to drill through this. Ooh, let's try and get some of these... Laser speed, ship speed, ship speed. Seems good. The lasers do seem a little bit faster. It's hard to judge, but it seems a little faster. We're certainly, certainly blowing up a bunch of stuff. We're going to shoot that thing, it says. Okay, whoa. Uh, this reminds me... Oh, what game is this? Uh, it reminds me of the game for the 360. I'm totally forgetting what it, it's called now. But it was like the first, one of the first games on Xbox Live Arcade, I feel like. And it was basically, we like set in the middle of a, kind of a square space arena. You blew up a bunch of stuff. And it looked like this. I just can't remember what that is. Do we want to kill that thing or drill it? Okay, I guess we're going to blow it up. Glad I didn't run into that. I try and dodge some of these things. Uh, what do I do against that? Do I drill this or do I just go around it? Okay. Uh, I'm not actually sure. Multi? Do I just stand in this? Oh, it's a multiplier. Got it, got it. Okay. 22x score multiplier. I, I'm so bad at these types of games, I'm not too worried about the score, but uh, I do like getting a higher number when possible, so we're gonna just assume that I did something right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, well, good. Still alive. Momentarily. I feel like those two things getting together is really bad for me. I'm trying to hit... I see how to weaken this guy. I need to, like, shoot around that stupid shield of his, but it's kind of hard to get in there. Okay. That's good, right? Yeah, it is. Looks like we're blasting off again here. Oh, I just got hit by an asteroid or a meteorite. Uh, it's painful. Okay. Uh, upload score. Uh, no, thank you. Let's retry, let's see what we can do. I'm not sure if this is like a single level or if we just, like if it just goes on infinitely, like it's an arcade game, or if there's like stages that we complete. Like it looks like, I judging by the name of this, it's classic mode, it looks like there might be stuff we can complete. Uh, as if like this is a completable level, we finish it and we go to a different stage, but no idea. I am enjoying the visuals so far. I'm sorry about the kind of weird boxed, you know, frames on this. Like I said, it's, it's bizarre trying to get the resolution to work. Probably the worst resolution settings I've ever seen in a game, to be honest. Like, it's one thing to have limited resolution settings. No problem. You know, it's fine. Especially older games, there's going to be limited resolutions. But this was like, I would set it to full screen, and then I had to select my resolution separately. So I'd set it to like 1080p, and then it would pop me out of full screen and do like a windowed mode in 1080p, but it was like cutting off the borders. I couldn't like get it to encase the entire game on my monitor. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then, uh, so then I was like, okay, well, I'll try setting the resolution first and then go full screen. So I sent 1080p, set it 1080p. Ooh, we are missing some of these things. 
And then, uh, after setting it to 1080p, uh, what happened? I set it to full screen, and it had the same problem again. So it didn't matter which order I set full screen first or resolution first, but it was not working well. So instead, we're in some weird boxed full screen 720p type of thing. I was like, did I just die? What the hell just happened? I have no idea what I just picked up, but I blew up a lot of stuff with it. So that was cool. That was cool. That thing is really annoying. I'm gonna shoot that thing out of our way. Whoa. We have not seen that thing yet. How am I supposed to survive that? Whoa, what the hell? It was like a giant laser beam in the middle of the screen. Uh, I have no idea. Um, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do there. Yeah. Well, I just got destroyed. So I'm trying to... Let's see if I can do something. Let's escape through using... Okay, okay. We're going to give it another go. I think I can do a little bit better here. I think we can get through this. Like I said, great graphics. You know, overall, the aesthetics of this game are very nice. Uh, certainly, I'm having fun. I just suck at it, you know? It just... Like I said, this is not my genre. Uh, there's a planet incoming. We're just going to drill through this bad boy. We're going to try and get some of these ship speed boosts if we can. It seems like the more we drill through them, the more of a boost we get. I don't know if that's how it works. Seems that way. Try and grab those little star bits that pop out when we can. Take out some of these guys that are looking kind of... They're coming for us. I think we can safely swing... Oh, wait, do we go in this thing to kill this? Uh, okay, I'm not sure exactly how we blow up those things yet. Working on it. Okay, we've got some more... Uh, oh, that, that other one is down there. It surprised me. Caught me off guard. Where? Oh, I'm missing all these. I will tell you this game, to me, maybe I'm just terrible at these games, which I, I know I am. They travel fast. Those uh, like little bonus things are very hard to like catch. Uh, maybe... Whoops, I just put my drill out. Didn't mean to do that. Plan incoming. Actually, maybe it's a good timing for the drill. Let's get some bombs, I guess. Sure. There's another bomb. I just did my devastating melee attack to just test it out once, but uh, you only get three of those per level, I think, so... Yo, what? What am I doing against this, guys? Do I drill through it? Yeah, I do. Figured it out. Oh, I... That was stupid. Okay, so I drilled through it. Got that far. It does appear where you move towards the end of the level, slowly, but I don't know how many lives I have. I haven't even seen where my lives are at. Uh, score zero, X one, yeah, I don't know where my lives are, but... So we got to the end, finally, and it looks like the way to get through that boss is we have to drill through to the inside, which I figured that out before he squished me, so that's good. Uh, as soon as I walked in, though, I backed into him and died, so that was not so good. We're gonna give it another try. Let's shoot this scary guy here and see if we can get him out of here. Gone. Nice. Oh, some of these little yellow guys are... Whoa. Some of these are fast, but we did take care of them pretty well, I think. Uh, what is that? Okay, I've got to dodge all that crap. I'm just going to push that guy off the screen, I guess, and not really kill him, just chase him away, which works for me. Uh, we're going to drill through this. Multi... Okay, yeah, we're going to get multipliers. I'd rather have laser speed than multipliers. Like, uh, multipliers are good, score is nice, but I'm so bad, I think it's probably better for me to focus on having a better ship when possible. Okay, there's that bad guy again. So we're gonna focus on shooting him if we can. All right, so I see where we need to hit to actually damage him. It's inside that core, which likes to rotate around, which is you know, classic, classic shmup, uh, shoot em up, shmup, whatever, uh, fashion. Seem to be working this pretty well, though, basically just staying on the side away from where his guns seem to be, which is the bottom left. These are much, oh, there we go. Is that, is that good? Looks good. Let's stay in the multi. I guess we gotta drill out again, right? Yep. Is that the final boss of this level, or is that just a mini boss? Oh, gosh. Okay, it might have been just a mini boss. Uh... Well, I don't know exactly what's going on. 
Well, I tried to dodge all that stuff. Um, maybe I should have drilled or used my melee attack. That special melee attack. That's probably what I needed to do. Distance. There's the distance. Okay, so... Uh, let's do board now. See what happens. I think this will take us back to the main menu. Maybe... Back? I think there's a few other things. Okay, uh, there's my name. Soka. Um, plays. Six. Bullets fired. 31,000. Bullets hit enemy. <laughs> hit percentage. Three percent. Cool. That was a pretty big fail. Uh, rank troublemaker level 11. Um, get some kills. Okay. I guess it's the stuff we killed. And deaths. Most of our deaths were caused by one from this triangle thing and the rest are not accounted for on here. So maybe we just ran into stuff. Uh, countdown mode unlocked. Okay, wormholes only appear. Okay. So we have library options, scores, stats, play. What's a library? I see, so this is like just a kind of a database of the characters in the game or the things you can shoot at for the most part, maybe music. What does play do? Okay. Peaceful, no scores, no competition, no game over, you just classic mode data. Throw in your own tell. Okay, okay. There's lots of modes in this game, quite a lot. Countdown, you've got two minutes to be the best you can. Respawning will reset the score multiplier, okay. Difficulty... Let's do a little bit of peaceful. We'll try to have some fun with some peaceful. That's probably a little more my pace. Uh, given, just given. Uh, looks like we might be on a different level to based on the name. But given how terrible I am, this might be a little bit better for us. I've blown up all these things at least. Oh, I just dodged the... Oh, there we go. I'm going to get that one at least. Okay, good, good. Trying to get those little gates. I don't know what exactly they're called, the little bonus gates. I'm trying to run into them when I can. Probably cleared all those guys just fine, I think. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, well, gonna drill through that, get uh, some laser spread. So I guess that would probably increase the area of our laser. A little bit wider of a shot, possibly. Makes sense anyway, I think. I don't know. Uh, which is, you know, always a good thing. In a shmup, you really want to have a lot of coverage in many cases to just clear as much crap as you can out of the way. In some cases you want something a little more focused, like of course if you're against like a boss, like... Whoa, okay. So this guy fires his lasers. Uh, we need to dodge all of this stuff. Okay, I was focusing on dodging more than shooting, but I'm now refocused on shooting if possible. Oop, dodge that laser. Okay, where is he at? Oh. In shmups I have a habit of trying to dodge more than focus on shooting and hoping at least some of my shots happen to just land. Okay, dodge that. <laughs> That's good. But, uh, maybe I need to do more damage here? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa. Okay, dodge it. Stupid ships flying in from nowhere are not fun. Alright, we're gonna unload. It seems like after he fires is a good time for us to kind of unload on him. I think I'm hitting him in the right spot, maybe? I don't even know if that's true. It seems like it should be right. Usually you go for the lit, in, the lit up portions in shmups. That's like the indicator normally. Have you ever played Ikaruga for the Dreamcast? Which is also, I think, later re-released for the... Oh, no! Later re-released for the GameCube, I think? Maybe it wasn't the GameCube, but I think it was later re-released for the GameCube. Uh, Ikaruga was one of my favorite shmups, but it was super hard, uh, crazy hard for me. It was a really cool mechanic where you would swap from uh, like a white color to a black color and that would make you, uh, I think, basically being able to damage the opposite color enemy. So like you get a... I just got toasted, guys. Just got wiped out. Okay, we're back, I think. Um, basically, if you were white, you could shoot the black bad guys. If you were black, you could shoot the white bad guys. Something like that. Um, and you also were immune to the same color of yourself's bullet. So it was, there were certain cases you had to swap in many cases to be able to dodge oncoming attacks. It was really cool. It was really fun. I was terrible at it also, but it was really fun. I think the first uh, shmup, I keep saying shmup by the way, it's uh, shoot em up basically, S-H-M-U-P, it's like the abbreviation of shmup. The first shmup I ever played was, or shoot em up, 
was Darius Twins for the Super Nintendo, and that is still my all-time favorite. It was like, I thought it was a ton of fun. I was, you know, a kid at the time, pretty much. Uh, I loved it, though. I thought it was just a ton of fun. And whoa, okay, I went into the drill just in time, which I guess was good, because I certainly needed it. Uh, interesting. So that bad guy needs me to go into drill mode to deal with him. And I guess we're blowing up these cannons that he has going for him. I don't know if I want to go through. Oh, maybe I need to kill those things through. Where am I? Why am I not shooting? I'm stuck or dead or broken or something? What? Why is my guy... I can't attack. And I can't... Can I die? I'm just gonna die. Well... Apparently I broke the game because, or something's going on, I'm pretty sure I swapped out of my drill while I was inside of him as he rammed into me, and it seems like I am stuck now. Like, see my little guy, he's, let me see, my cursor is pretty much on him right now, kind of moving with the cursor. I'm freely able to move, but I can't do anything, and left and right mouse doesn't do anything either. Holding in the buttons doesn't do anything. What does space bar do? Nothing. I guess escape works. Okay, is that free us? Nope. Okay. I'll tell you what. Um, I do enjoy this game. It's pretty fun. Um, I don't really review when I do these Sunday specials, but I can say this game has a few problems. Either I'm just so bad at it, I don't understand what I'm doing, which is entirely possible, let's be honest here. Or it's so buggy, despite being out for a few years, that I literally just got stuck here. Um, and I'm sure I could backspace to quit out of here, uh, which I will do, but uh, we're going to go ahead and stop here. It's kind of a shorter Sunday special for today. Um, I didn't feel this game as much as I would have was hoping. I really thought I'd really enjoy it, and it's fun, but it's not a great game for me. It's just not quite what I wanted. Um, besides that little glitch there, the options, like I mentioned, were very weird. And here's what I'm talking about. It's 1280 by 720. I'm trying to switch from uh, re resolutions or full screen. It just doesn't work right for my computer, but overall... Uh, really Big Sky is the game. Pretty fun, interesting game. I don't know what it sells for anymore. It's probably a fairly inexpensive game, so if you like shoot 'em ups you might enjoy it. Um, not the game for me necessarily, but uh, that is all for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.